what we thought was going to be a planned C-section on May 19th. Um, we never gave that date, mm -hmm. but we knew um, we were going to go in at 1 o'clock on May 19th, have a calm, easy C-section. And this one had other plans for us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Happy and young, the fool of fun, the Herberts are here for everyone. So um, we've been getting a lot of questions, even though we did the birth vlog, we never like gave the details of how it happened and how we got there. So we figured we would just sit down and tell you guys um, how we went from a planned C-section to an emergency C-section. So you guys know we went to the hospital a couple times. <laughs> a couple. Um, it all started with the version. So Poppy was transverse, she mm. was sideways. And that's when we talked to you guys and told you our options were um, the version or a planned C-section. And we opted with trying the version first, which we made a video about. Mm -hmm. It did not work, but I don't, we don't know um, if that kind of maybe kickstarted some stuff or it was just the timing was just the timing. But um, that was on a Monday and Tuesday I started noticing some like leakage that I had never like noticed before. Mm -hmm. And that's when we started going to the hospital. So almost every day, almost actually. every day we were at the hospital. So the version was on Monday and we had her the following Tuesday. So it was only eight days between the version and having her. Yeah. And I think we were at the hospital. The version was Monday. And I think two times in that week, three, I think, three. Yeah. Three times in that, right? Yeah. Three times, two to three times of that week. So every time they went in to check my amniotic fluid and it it wasn't the fluid, it wasn't my water breaking, but there was something coming out, like mm -hmm. it wasn't normal. And on May 10th, which was Monday, so it was seven, like a full week from the version, May 10th, I was having leakage again, and I was like, something's not right. So we went up to the local doctor's office, and she still wasn't sure, so she was like, I'm sorry, but go down to the hospital. Mm -hmm. So at that point, we were like, ah, oh, not again, but we needed to be safe in, we didn't know. And didn't know. luckily, the car was already packed. So yeah, we yeah. had the car packed for every trip we had. So pretty much all the bags were ready to go. So we're like, okay, so we kind of got everything together real quick. Mm -hmm. And I think I just grabbed a few snacks and yeah, some waters yeah. and stuff. And we were headed to the hospital for the fifth time. And we filmed it. So here's a little bit of us going to the hospital on May 10th. So we check in, we know the routine. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm having my hands out, giving my gown. Josh knows where everything is in the room. We're like professionals. <laughs> we point. were professionals at this point. Um, the nurses kind of recognized us and remembered us. And then the doctor comes in and was like, it's not amniotic fluid. It doesn't look like your water broke, but are you feeling contractions? And I was like, no, like what are they supposed to feel like? And she's like, well, you're having contractions every four minutes, like <laughs> four minutes. And I was like, oh, I don't, I don't feel anything. Yeah. Um, so the, the doctor felt confident since I wasn't feeling the contractions and technically she didn't see that my water broke and it didn't break no. that she was like, you can go home. But she did say your water could break tonight. You could go into labor tonight because I had what, like four internal exams at that point. Yeah. So you were, I mean, and they did state, they're like, do not hesitate to go to the hospital. Yeah. If you think like, even though we were there all the time, they're like, it's best, you know, if you think your water's breaking or something, like just come right here. Yeah, um, but they sent us home. And at that point I got a, a contraction timer to time because I was like unsure since they told me my contractions were four minutes apart, yeah. but I wasn't feeling anything. And then that night at 1 a.m. I woke up and I was like, oh, something doesn't feel right. And that's when like I started feeling the contractions. It's the weirdest feeling ever. Um, and at that time it was like five to 10 minutes apart. Um, so I wasn't too concerned, but I was texting my mom. He was sound asleep. He I knew was nothing. sleeping. I was in dream world. And what was weird was Nate was on top of me all night. He was at my feet laying on me. So I think he knew. Yeah. He knew. I, knew I have nothing. a picture of it. And by 6 a.m. I'm texting my mom. I lost my mucus plug. She's like, call your doctor. And I was like, no, I can't. We were just there. Luckily I did. So um, I, I called the doctor and she's like, Abby, sounds like you're in labor. 
go to the hospital. I was like, we, we literally were just there. But um, once again, God, we went. Mm -hmm. I wake Josh up. I'm like, Josh, hospital now. He like jumps out of bed and says, I do. I thought I was still dreaming. And usually like, since we had everything scheduled pretty much, like we were sticking with that plan. So it was kind of just like, yeah. not again. Yeah, you're in like this intense environment of like okay we got to get you to the hospital is it happening now yeah. so it was a lot of emotions i think like I, but i didn't wake you up throughout the night so he had no idea i was actively like having bad contractions so he's getting up as he takes you were you were doing your thing i was like well we got a couple minutes i'm gonna do my makeup so i'm sitting while he's running around getting ready i'm doing my makeup because i'm like if this is it i want, <laughs> I want my makeup oh done and i'm like having contractions and I don't think you took me seriously till like we were getting out the door and I like had to like, I couldn't talk. Yeah, or, like, I could think. tell you were in pain, like it, having the contractions. It was like taking your breath away. You were like, was, hold on, don't talk to yeah. me. It was weird. So, and they lasted about 40 seconds. Anyway, we get in the car. You guys see that all in the vlog. Um, we're excited. Still, I don't think it, like, even though we were like, it's happening today, it still didn't hit us. I, I kind of thought it was going to happen, but I was like, this is just, an, we're going to go down here. <laughs> They're going to send us home again just yeah. because we had like that C-section was scheduled. I'm like, oh, well, that's probably like when it's going to be. Everything's yeah. going to work out that way. But that was the telltale sign for me. Like every time she would have these contractions on the way down, she wouldn't say a word. And when I tried to talk to her, she's like, yeah, I, I couldn't <laughs> like just let me have this contraction. And then she'd be totally fine. So I was like, OK, I think it's I think, I think it's something happening. So we got there fairly quickly. We knew the drill. We got right up to the triage. Um, they got Abby situated. We're like, we, we know what room. Yeah. Like. Um, we're saying hi to everyone because everyone knows us by now. And um, and it was the same resident doctor who we were like, literally the day before, we were like, we hope we don't see you till the 19th. <laughs> yeah. And then it was like the next morning. We're like, hi, how are you? Um, and we got in about 930 in the morning. Mm -hmm. um, set me up, did my thing. Our doctor who was scheduled to deliver her on the 19th uh, via C-section, was on her way to the hospital. So I'm glad it all worked out. Mm -hmm. We still had our doctor. She walks in, they're setting me up. She quickly like does my, to see how dilated I am. And she's like, you're five centimeters dilated. You're having that baby now, like yeah. soon. And I was like, oh, okay. And since she was in that transverse position, I kind of got pushed to the top of the C-section list that mm -hmm. day because of, she could not come out vaginally that yeah. way. Um, so it was rushed. It was quick. It wasn't like that. I mean, I don't know how to explain it. It was still calm, but it was like they were throwing yeah. so many people in the room at the same time just to get things rushed and get me, get, get her out of me quick. It was just kind of like, well, it's happening. Okay. It's happening now. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. And I, <laughs> I remember calling my mom, like it's happening now. And I, I looked at the nurse. I'm like, like when? And she's like in the next hour. And I was like, the next hour, like yeah. I'm, I don't know. So at that point, it kind of became a blur. Obviously, it we was. Didn't, we there were so many. There were so many different things going on that, like, mm -hmm. we kind of lost track of time. Like, they handed me the scrubs. Are like, yeah. you're gonna want to get in this, and. and I forgot to listen to you here too. So I just wanted to. Good day to have a baby. It is. How are you feeling? Good. I got mine. <laughs> you should have wore your Crocs today. <laughs> yeah, the blue Crocs. Oh my God, those there are you huge. Doctor Josh. Doctor Josh. <laughs> So they handed him the scrubs. I'm like, uh, I was trying, was I white as a ghost? I you had were. <laughs> and I'm just kind of like looking all over. I'm having IVs put in here, blood taken here. Uh, anesthesiologists are coming in, talking to me, like signing things off and this <laughs> and that. And then it was time to go. And it was literally like, it was so quick. Getting ready to go back. Yep. So stay tuned, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> They came and got Abby. They wheeled her back and they're like, we're going to come back and get you when everything's ready to go. Yeah. And like the sense of time was gone, but I felt like it was an eternity. Like I was just sitting there like, okay, like, are they going to come back now and get me? Yeah. And at one point, one of the doctors came through and like, hey, she's almost ready. You know, just wanted to give you a heads up. I was like, okay. And uh, before I knew it, I was back there. I walk in and then Abby's. Well, then that's where I can yeah. tell you my whole process. <laughs> so they're wheeling me back. I'm staying calm and I start shaking and I don't know. And then, and the nurse told me or the anesthesiologist told me, she's like, this is normal. You're, you know, it's okay. I was like, I'm not nervous, but like my legs just would not stop shaking. And they gave me something like I was already having stuff put in me and fluids in me. And I'm sitting on the edge of the bed for the spinal, you know, have to sit up They're behind me. 
it wasn't painful. It was weird. It felt like a bee sting. I got the spinal in. He gave me, he had to do it like on both sides for some reason. I don't really remember. Um, but it went as planned. But then as soon as the spinal's in, they immediately, you know, laid me back and it was like go time. And, you know, I'm on the table like this. And I never looked into C-section, so I wasn't really sure what to expect. But arms are out on the table like this and they had me hold on to something because they don't want me moving my arms while you know they're operating on me or getting the baby out so arms are like this and i get pretty sick and nauseous from like anesthesia medicine so i instantly was like i'm gonna throw up i'm gonna throw up and they were so amazing every nurse and anesthesiologist behind me they were like fanning something in my face <laughs> to like make it smell better and then they gave me a little bit of nausea medication i'm to the side so like i'm gonna throw up there's a bucket here i never threw up which is yeah, great. Um, and then the shakes started. They said that's normal. I mean, I was like uncontrolled. Could you see me shaking? Yeah, it was just like was, uncontrollable shaking. Yeah. So I'm asking, can where's Josh? Is my husband coming in? Can he come in? And finally they, you know, they let him in. And as soon as he came in, I just like locked eyes with him. And <laughs> I'm staring in my soul. Staring at him. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't touch um. you. <laughs> what time is it? <laughs> when I realized I can't move my feet, I can't move my toes, I can't move my legs, I wanted to move them. Yeah. So then I started panicking and then I couldn't breathe out of my chest. And then the doctor, you know, he was like, look over, you can see your, your vitals are amazing, yeah. you're breathing just fine. And I was like, but still, I don't know, it was the weirdest feeling ever. And then I'm like, can you check mine? <laughs> yeah, Josh did so good. It was so quick, I would say not even what, five, ten minutes, yeah. ten minutes max. They were like, she's out. And I was like, well, they were like, you're gonna feel some pressure. And I was like, oh, oh, okay, I feel it. And then she's out. And I was like, she's out? Like, and then everything just kind of like went yeah, to a was, blur. It was super quick. I just remember sitting there, you were staring into my soul. <laughs> and then all of a sudden they're like, okay, she's out, she's here. And, and uh, they pulled the curtain down. <laughs> they lifted there. her over the curtain and I, I was still kind of yeah. out of it. And then all I know is Josh, I'm like, go over there if Josh can go over there. And they let me go over and I got to see her, um, the whole process of her getting her little footprints and I just got to hold on to her little hands and um, it was a really neat experience to just be able to like be with her right Yeah, and they, they, they quickly cleaned her off because mm -hmm. I, I asked her as quick as possible if she's okay and I'm okay to put her on my chest and they did. Yeah. It was very quick They and then she latched immediately mm -hmm. and the nurse was like, we don't see that often. So that was, that's was that been a whole, an amazing experience. Breastfeeding has been phenomenal. We'll go into that in another video. Um, but Josh didn't pass out. I didn't, I was surprised. Like <laughs> I was actually pretty, pretty chill. Yeah, I mean, I yeah. think maybe we you were just, at the hospital so many times, I was like kind of yeah. used to the environment at this point, but I don't, I think it was just such a calm environment. Like, yeah, every doctor yeah. made it so calm. Every nurse, every, everyone that was in that room made it, an amazing experience yeah. even though it was emergency type quick c-section not planned not scheduled um they made the experience amazing i'd do it again in a second in a heartbeat but luckily um, my doctor feels confident that you know if i get pregnant again and the baby's not transverse vaginal will not be an issue everything happens for a reason and it turned out to be still magical still an amazing experience and i would not change anything for the world and another plus it was a beautiful day yes. it was like the first sunny day we've had in a long time mm -hmm. um the 11th that's a great date great number um so i think everything happens for a reason mm -hmm. and poppy came into this world may 11th 2021 at 11 06 a.m i'm so happy we got to share it with you guys and we can sit down and tell you everything um stay tuned for all these updates in <laughs> vlogs we have so much planned so we're taking this all in enjoying this time on this new journey of parenthood Ugh, um, and i couldn't have a better partner in crime right here um, than this little one here so i'm so <laughs> proud of you she was so brave during the whole process and um I could never do that <laughs> so we want to thank you guys for following our journey um supporting us and as always the herberts are here for everyone. Oh. Love you guys. Bye.